find even more drawing tips inside the pages of the Phoenix comic, along with great stories and more. Today I'm going to be showing you how to draw flying horses, but we're not going to stop there. We're going to take everything we've learnt from the last few tutorials and combine them together to create an epic fantasy scene. All the video tutorials you need are right here on the site, or refer back to issues 475 to 481 of the Phoenix comic. First, you're going to want to refer back to the How to Draw Horses and the How to Draw Eagles videos. To create a flying horse, go back to the building blocks and combine the body of the horse with the wings of the eagle. The Fantasy Armour video will show you everything you need to design your character's armour. And once you've drawn your flying horse and rider, we're going to add a background using the Epic Landscapes tutorial for inspiration. And finally, make sure to check out the How to Draw a Floating Castle tutorial, as we'll be adding that as well. Right, let's start with the flying horses. As always, we're going to start with the basic building blocks. Gradually construct the horse using basic shapes. Start with the head, then move on to the rest of the body and finish with the legs. Once you're happy with the proportions and shape of your horse, move on to the rider. Refer back to my How to Draw the Body tutorials for additional help here if you need it. We're going to give our rider a magical staff, so have one arm outstretched, and for the moment, just draw a line for the staff. Take your time. The more you get right at this stage, the easier your final drawing will be. The How to Draw Eagles video told you everything you need to know to draw wings. Let's take the basic building blocks of the wing itself and add them to our horse. OK, we're done. The building blocks are in place. Let's start on the final drawing. Now as always I'm working on a computer and using multiple layers to build up my drawing, but if you're using a pencil and paper then why not trace over your guides on a separate piece of paper, or always draw your guides really lightly so they can be rubbed out later. I'm going to start with the horse's head. Remember, the guides are only there to give you a framework to work from, don't trace every line. Once we've got the head and nostrils drawn we're going to add the bridle. Think about the shape of the horse's head in 3D and use the bridle to add some definition and form. Then add a hoop for the reins. Add the eye and have your horse looking back at the rider to create a bond between the animal and the character. And why not add a subtle smile to make your horse look friendly? It just adds a little bit of personality. You can see that one of the advantages of working digitally is that I can zoom in and out of my drawing, which really helps with some of the finer details. Let's continue on with the front legs. See how I'm using more angular lines to make the legs look strong and powerful. And again, as we move on to the back legs, see how my first few strokes are just outside of my guide. This is what I mean by not tracing over your guides. Before we start on our rider, let's add a saddle. Now let's zoom in on the rider so I can work on the facial details. There's a few videos on how to draw faces, so be sure to check them out if you need a little extra guidance. Although generally, I start with the eyes, then the nose and mouth before fleshing out the rest of the face shape. I'm going to add another rider in the foreground, so let's have this rider looking at them. Now let's give our character some armour. Refer back to the How to Draw Fantasy Armour video for inspiration. We'll start with the arms and then work our way down. Now before we add the final details to the rider, let's flesh out the wings. Start with a continuous flowing line for the outer edge of the wing. Now add the individual feathers using the guides to help with placement. Finally, hint at more feathers using additional lines and marks inside the wing. Now I'm not overly happy with the placement of this wing, so I'm going to shift it along a touch, another advantage of working on a computer. Right, let's add the magical staff. Draw two parallel lines and then a circle at the top with a diamond in the middle. To make your staff look magical, add some crackly effects. Finally, let's add some flowing hair to our rider. First, draw the front parting. Then, add in the rest of the hair using a single bold shape. Hint at individual hair strands using wavy lines, and then erase any unwanted lines. Now I'm going to add a second horse and rider using exactly the same process as before. Typically, comic art is broken down into a four part process. Roughs, pencils, inks and colours. We've just done the rough and pencils, and now I'm going to ink this drawing using a bold brush tool that I use for all of my comics. I've got this brush set up to provide thick and thin lines suited to the amount of pressure I apply to the screen, and you'll see this as I go. When I ink, I zoom in and out a lot and move about the screen. It's important not to just trace your pencils, otherwise your drawing will lack movement and life. Don't be too careful. Try and ink with the confidence you would have when drawing with a pencil to give your lines some life. I know this is hard because you can't rub out inks, again another advantage of working on the computer. 
Once the majority of the lines are in place, I then add a few areas of stronger blacks for definition and form. Now let's ink the second horse using the same technique as before. So now we've got our two flying horses, let's turn our attention to the background. Check out my How to Draw Epic Landscapes tutorial and use that video to help you draw an epic fantasy background. Add dramatic clouds. Make them larger at the edge of the image, then gradually getting smaller and tapering off to a small wisp of clouds as they reach the sun. And then finally, cast your mind back to my How to Draw Floating Castle video and add that in the top left of the image for a bit of additional background detail and interest. And that's it, we're done. We'd love to see your artwork, so be sure to send it into the Phoenix and you may even get mentioned in the Phoenix fanfare pages. Till next time. For more How to Draw tutorials, make sure you like this video and then subscribe to our channel. You can also find even more drawing tips inside the pages of the Phoenix comic along with great stories and more. Click the link in the description below to find out how you can get the Phoenix delivered straight to your door every week.